Harry Styles is presently on tour, selling out venues such as Madison Square Garden and the United Center in Chicago. He's rumored to be starring in a new film as a main character, despite the fact that he's just made news. What is the title of this new picture in which he'll star? Who will he play? Keep an eye on today's video to see if Harry Styles will be portraying a god of love and sex, the new Marvel film. Who else might we see in Eternals? The cast is packed with huge names, which we've now been able to drool over due to the trailers. Angelina Jolie portrays Thena, an eternal warrior capable of conjuring any weapon from cosmic energy. Jolie was one of the first actresses we saw in costume in some leaked set photographs, but due to the aforementioned footage, we now have an official still. Icarus is played by bodyguard in Game of Thrones star Richard Madden, while King O is played by Kumail Nanjaniani, who utilizes his skills to become a famous actor. Ajak is played by Selma Hayek, who has a western rodeo style in the marketing footage, and Makari is played by Lauren Ridoff from The Walking Dead. Brian Tyree is an American football player. In the comics, Fastos is played by Henry, Sprite is played by Leah McHugh, and Gilgamesh is played by Don Lee. Druig is played by Barry Keoghan and Dane Whitman, called The Black Knight, is played by Kit Harrington, who's also known for his role on Game of Thrones. If Feige has to choose one character from the huge cast, it would be Gemma Chan Cersei from Crazy Rich Asians and Captain Marvel. Eternals takes place after Endgame. Eternals is confirmed to take place after the events of Avengers Endgame. This information was mentioned in the official summary of the film, but footage from the film gave more cooperation. There's one mention of Thanos and several things from Avengers Endgame, like as the second snap, are also addressed. Iron Man and Captain Rogers are no longer around, says Sprite, Liam McHugh, near the end of the trailer. This is an obvious reference to the ending of Avengers Endgame, in which Iron Man was killed by the Infinity Stones and Steve Rogers completely vanished from the MCU timeline by growing old with Peggy Carter. Furthermore, Sprite addressing Steve as Captain Rogers could imply that the film takes place after both the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, putting the plot's present-day setting around 2024 or later. Eternals is set over 7,000 years. Although the majority of Eternals' tales takes place in the present-day Marvel Cinematic Universe, the film is confirmed to cover thousands of years of the franchise's history. Interviews have previously verified that the Eternals' narrative spans 7,000 years. The poster uses the tagline, In the Beginning, and draws biblical analogies demonstrating how far back the film will travel. This is more likely to refer to the origin of human civilization and the Eternals' role in it, rather than implying that the MCU world is only a few thousand years old. The Eternals are depicted as having arrived on Earth thousands of years ago and assisting in the advancement of civilization. They're also shown in ancient Babylon, which is one of many time periods and locales that Eternals will traverse throughout its multi-decade plot. The Eternals are spread over Earth. The first trailer for Eternals doesn't reveal much about what the main protagonists are up to today, the second video confirms that they are and have been split and scattered over Earth for ages. Cersei is a well-known Bollywood star who appears in the UK alongside Dane Whitman, aka Black Knight, Kit Harrington, before the rest of the Eternals arrive to see him. Druig appears to be living alone in a forest while Thena and Gilgamesh, Don Lee, appear to be living together. It's unclear what Icarus, Sprite, and Ajak are up to now, but they're most likely out doing their own thing, with Icarus living living alone and far away from society. Bastos, on the other hand, has settled down with his husband. Makari, Lauren Ridloff, is only seen speed reading in the present day while using an Oculus headset. After the events of Avengers Endgame brought back half of the world's population that vanished in Thanos' snap, it's Ajak who recruits everyone. It appears to be the catalyst for the Deviant's reappearance, which explains why the Eternals are involved. A major threat brings Eternals out of hiding. Due to the introduction of a new big threat, the Eternals' policy of not getting involved will eventually shift. According to the official description, the Eternals' decision to take a more hands-on approach to saving Earth is due to the reappearance of the Deviants. The Deviants, like the Eternals, are celestial creations, but their designs are more grotesque, and they are considered the Eternals' malevolent opposites. In the second trailer, a couple of Deviants are revealed, one of whom is Crow, Jolie's on-again, off-again lover. The reappearance of the Deviants 
Deviants is a significant thing, even if they aren't exactly like the comics. The Deviants could be one of the most dangerous dangers the MCU has ever faced if the Eternals sat out Loki's invasion of Earth with the Chitauri. Ultron's attempted takeover and Thanos' repeated attacks. The second teaser indicates that the huge rush of energy that occurred during the second snap set off the chain of events that the Eternals would deal with in their titular film, implying that the rebirth of mankind at once brought back the Deviants, and maybe the Celestials. Now that we've discussed who we might see in the film and what we can expect from the film, let's now delve into what we came here for, what role Harry Styles will be playing in the Marvel film, and when we can expect to see it as the public. Stay tuned to the video to find out all this information about the Eternals we've been waiting to hear. News breaking of Harry's new gig. Harry Styles is presently on tour, bringing his trademark panache and flair to venues such as Madison Square Garden and Chicago's United Center. However, on October 19th, he'll be making headlines for his impending work on the big screen, rather than the stage. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Harry Styles has apparently been cast as the god of love and sex. Last night's premiere of Marvel's upcoming Eternals, which will be released in Australia on November 4th, revealed some important casting news. The 27-year-old actor is rumored to have made a surprise cameo as Eros in the Chloe Zhao-directed blockbuster, which would likely be the start of Styles' collaboration with Marvel Studios' massive MCU film franchise. Matt Donnelly of Variety, who was at the premiere in Los Angeles, was the first to tweet the news. It's unclear if Donnelly was truly permitted to disclose this information, given Marvel's tight spoiler policies. Mark Malkin, the publication's senior culture and events editor, confirmed the report on Twitter stating that when Styles appeared on screen, the crowd shrieked. The ramifications of leaking this information so close to the film's release date have been hotly contested on Twitter this morning, especially considering the culture of spoilers and embargoes that has persuaded the MCU and other big-budget movies in recent years. But if viewer tweets are to be believed, simply the notion of Styles' participation in the film has sparked a whole new wave of anticipation for one of the most anticipated films of 2021. When might we see the film? Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is off to a great start. Black Widow was the first film to premiere on Disney+, Plus, followed by Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings in theaters. Now we're anticipating Eternals, a film that promises to upend the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. Eternals stands out among the Marvel Cinematic Universe for a variety of reasons, but one of the most fascinating is that it is directed by Oscar winner Chloe Zhao, Nomadland. Then there's the star-studded ensemble, as well as the mythology that'll be explored in the film. Eternals is a film on every Marvel fan's mind thanks to its unique one-word title. Marvel's Eternals was planned to hit theaters on November 6, 2020, making it the second film in Phase 4 when it was first announced. However, due to the lengthy delays, Marvel's Eternals has been postponed until November 5, 2021. The film will be distributed in theaters given Shang-Chi's success and Disney's apparent move away from day and date releases. Eternals is unlikely to arrive on Disney Plus until well after its likely exclusive cinematic run. So it's not far away until we get to see Eternals and our favorite Harry Styles in action. There you have it, all the information you've been waiting to hear about the new Marvel film Eternals. It's not long till we get to see the movie in cinemas and we get to see our favorite singer Harry Styles in action. Marvel movies are always a huge hit, so I bet fans are eager to get to watch this one, especially with the great actors and plot behind it. Leave us a comment down below whether you'll be watching it or not. We hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.